Okay, so one of the things I wanted to do here was just demonstrate one of the graphical, graphical effects that uh, was used for Wayward. Uh, and that's this, uh, the lightning bolts, sometimes called the, uh, the hacking beam or the grapple beam that you would see the girl use as she both uh, uh, grappled onto the back of the robot as well as through the environment. Um, so I've just uh, set uh, the graphical um, uh, or the actual game object for the graphical beam renderer. Um, it's a prefab and I dropped it into the scene here. And I'm on the game view and you can see it uh, sort of in action there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the scene view to see exactly what it's made of. And uh, as you can see, there's um, there's actually three beams. There's a there's a there's a highlighted white kind of beam in the middle there. There is a, a, a two sort of behind the scenes uh, sort of uh, fainter uh, bluer beams uh, listed in there um, as well. And uh, they all three share these are the three effects. They all share the same start and end point. So I can move the start point around um, and uh, the beam is resized um, and uh, I can move the end point around and the same thing uh, happens on the other end. Um, but there's a, there's a variety of other pieces that are going into this and you can see these three waves are very different and they're all being used by the same or they're all driven by the same um, uh, system. And uh, here are the components. There's three components here. So you can see the white component. Uh, and the two blue blue components are faded out there. I'm going to go ahead and bring the tint on those up, or the alpha on those up, so you can see them a little more clearly. Um, and uh, you can see there the the various the various waves that are occurring. You can also see that there is um, uh, I, I visualized the quads here, so you can see what they're actually made up of as far as uh, individual um, sprite pieces. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to um, uh, disable those effects. So we can just look one at, a, at one at a time here, and I want to just focus in on the the bright one there. Um, let me go ahead and minimize these, and so I'm just dealing with with one at a time. Um, they have a layer depth layer, so that chooses that that determines how they uh, they are um, layered sort of in that 2D space. Um, but there's also this uh, you can see there's actually three sort of blocks here. There's this first block, this second block, and this third block of uh, uh, of two triangles um, and uh, you can have more or less but uh, this segment multiplier determines how many of those there are so if I throw this number up here high uh, we have more segments than if we then you know add something a little lower um, somewhere along there uh, we've also got a, a scale effect and that is the girl uh, her she always starts from the sort of the start point and we have the ability to scale um, what happens when uh, so as that 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 starting scale, so that can be um, squeezed or or, or expanded, uh, so that we get some sort of uh, directional. Um, you know, one one side of this is the the girl side, the other side is the destination side, the target side. Uh, we can change the wave height here, um, so that we want a, a lower wave height or a higher height wave height. Um, there's also a bulge that can appear in the center of this thing. So this is this wave bulge. So if you can imagine um, a bulge that goes out this way and that way, the center has higher oscillation uh, values than, uh, than on the, uh, the edges. Um, we also have a wavelength that's actually changing how, how that oscillation occurs. So that's a long wavelength. And then we can also do a short wavelength. And then what's that wave speed that can be changed? Um, so there it's moving, moving uh, at a different rate than it is over here. Um, there's a forward speed and a negative speed, so right in the center here is that zero speed. So we can have it move it off to the left, and we can have it move off to the right for different effects. Um, that should correspond to a sprite scroll, scroll speed. So these sprites that are used, it, it loops between a series of, uh, I think, um, four to six sprites. Uh, those can be obviously changed per effect, um, which... Uh, uh, I think I've got in separate location, um, but uh, if we're working on this thing and we're playing with the uh, sprite scroll speed, that is how fast that sprite moves, sort of an offset UV value in, uh, uh, across the across the image. So let's go ahead and change that value here, so we can see what that does. Let's drop this down to a zero, so we can see that a little better. So that's. Um, 
we can move it back to the left. Let's just change it real small here. So I'm going to make that a, a minus, say, 2 um, versus a positive 2. And that's subtle, but uh, and it depends on what exactly are your your UV values and uh, what your texture looks like to see what how easy it is to tell what's happening there. Um, we've also had bulge size size, so we can throw the whole thing up higher again, uh, ignoring that that tool piece. Um, we've also got an end squeeze, so we can squeeze the ends of this thing either more or less. Um, uh, so how much we want to squeeze that thing? It's easier to see with the bulge. So that's the the squeeze at the end of the bolt of the end of the um, bulge there is going to squeeze value to pull that in or out. Uh, again, there's tint value. Uh, we can change that. So maybe we want some red lightning. Um, that's more of a pink, I suppose. Let's get over some red uh, and change those values. Change how it interacts with the background uh, with our alpha values. But in general, that's pretty much it. And so the goal with this tool was to create something that would uh, sort of address all of the things that the artist was looking for in their uh, sort of concept art um, and uh, make sure that they then had the ability to tweak those values uh, potentially for different, um, different systems, uh, different effects. So this is obviously used for the grapple, uh, but could also be reused for lightning throughout the game. Um, and we had a variety of other places where we were going to use this uh, uh, when, we, when we continue forward in production. So that's it. Um, and uh, hope that uh, maybe gave you some ideas of the kind of things that you might do for your own games.